What's up, YouTubers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today I am checking out. I just ran across it earlier when I was uh, uh, doing some stuff, and we have a new headset on the market now HMD Odyssey Plus. Uh, so, the Samsung. So, I'm a big fan of the Samsung Odyssey. Uh, definitely love it for sim racing, uh, where you're sitting down, inside out tracking, you don't need any. Uh, lighthouses anywhere so it works really really well for sim racing controllers are a little bit of a pity I think they're not very uh, comfortable they're easy to lose out of your hands I don't really care for the controllers at all uh, I mean they're doable but you know not something I would rather I, I would play with if I was going to do something with the controllers I would grab my rift even though it has a little bit less resolution but the uh, controllers are are like wearing a glove so to speak so uh, but, you know, if you're interested mainly in sim racing, this is my go-to headset, and this is the one that I recommend to people. But if you're in the market, and I know some of my uh, followers are in the market for the Odyssey, uh, based on some of the questions I've been getting lately, you might want to pick up the Odyssey Plus. Or you can probably get the regular Odyssey at a lower price. Right now, it's on Amazon for like $4.91. I would bet... You anything it's going to drop down to 350 for the Black Friday holiday. So I'm going to leave you a link in the bottom for the Amazon. I bet you anything it's going to drop down to 350 for the uh, Black Friday sales, uh, the regular one. You can't go wrong with the regular Odyssey. Uh, the Plus is going to be increased. It's an evolution over a revolution. Uh, it's, it's slightly better uh, display, although it's the same size display, uh, 1440 by 1600. It looks almost the same uh, as, as the original one. And you're looking at these pictures here. Uh, the difference is, is that the cushions are a little bit uh, improved from what my understanding is. Uh, the nose piece, of course, is improved. It's a different nose piece. It doesn't pinch off your nose anymore. So it's uh, definitely opened up a lot more. The neat thing is, is that, um, let's see if we can see it in this pictures here. Uh, controllers are the same, but the uh, the width here is increased, and actually I can show you that here. You will see the HMD Odyssey Plus 146 millimeters wide compared to the regular Odyssey 138. So this is going to help for people that wear glasses. You know, this gives you that extra width uh, for your frames on your glasses. Uh, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That is definitely a plus. Uh, to have that wider eye box and then of course with the nose piece a lot of people complain about the nose piece the original one uh, this one here clipping your nose your nose basically push past these flaps and they just dug into the side of your nostrils uh, cutting off some air circulation so I uh, didn't care for that feature I'm not too worried about it it actually kind of helps hold the the mask itself to my face uh, because these HM, these uh, Odyssey uh, masks actually tend to uh, push away from your face. Uh, this part here, the bottom part, will kind of come out away from your face. Pretty easy uh, from what you, when you tighten down the headset. So just depending on how how you have it adjusted on your head. But uh, you know, keep in mind with the with the Odyssey, the sweet spot is is smaller than say the Rift. Uh, but when you're in it, you're in it, and uh, it looks great. So definitely a big visual improvement. But as far as the visual improvements, what you're going to get with the new one is you got 1233 PPI level. Uh, this is saying 616 PPI actual resolution conventional OMLED, OMLED screen. So, uh, you know, they're not really saying that's what the Odyssey 1 was. And I can't remember what the pixel is on it because if you go over here, it doesn't tell you the PPI on uh, the regular Odyssey, uh, Samsung Odyssey rather. Uh, so I don't know what it is. Comment below if you do know, but it doesn't tell you that. But it's almost as if you're assuming that 616 was the regular one and now 1233. You know, so it's almost like you're getting a, a 4K resolution, you know, well not 4K, but um, you know, improve resolution, but you're using the exact same screen. So obviously they've got to be slightly different, but same size. So it shouldn't be any more intensive on your hardware. So I'm running a 1080 Ti and you're know, pushing X amount of pixels through there. So 
I'm thinking, yeah, it might be a little bit more taxing, but you know, really it shouldn't be because you're still pushing the same size OLED screens. Uh, the only difference is, is that the gradient is better. The screens are, are made better to where you are visually seeing more of a pop, more of a, uh, uh, contrast in, in the objects and stuff. So yeah, it should be a, a nice visual improvement. I would think, um, without taxing your hardware anymore. So yeah, let's check out the video real quick here. And it kind of explains a lot of it. So yeah, pretty cool. So that, I like that flashlight mode where you can uh, push the button on your controller and see what's going on around you. Uh, grab a drink of water or something like that. Uh, see if anybody's in your house anymore because <laughs> you get lost in VR. But anyway, that's pretty neat. I actually saw that on Windows. Uh, if you go to like the developer section of Windows 10, that was a feature coming to the headsets anyways. Uh, so it looks like they just incorporated it with a, you know, a press of a button. So that's, that's really good, uh, little feature. So anyway, hope you liked it. That's just kind of a quick look at this. I'm not sure if I'll pick one up, but I am definitely interested in it. Uh, so yeah, same out inside out tracking. I'm actually pretty happy with the tracking. Yeah, it does mess up here and there. If you have a dark room, which I do play in a dim room at times, uh, just because you know you keep the heat out of the room with the uh, lights off so uh but yeah i uh but you know with the same hookups there's really nothing else to change uh you know what i should see is a, a nice comfort increase uh and then obviously a little bit better resolution which i'm interested in having the better resolution uh, although i am pretty happy with it but a better resolution that doesn't tax my uh current gpu anymore then it is already getting taxed because I don't want to have to, I do plan on upgrading, uh, but I'm hoping to hold out for the next generation of uh, RTX cards or whatever they're going to call them next. But who knows? I mean, uh, I think the price of RTX cards will probably drop uh, after the first of the year, uh, after some of the hype goes away from them. So I know I had one on order and then changed my mind and canceled it. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this one. Are you going to pick it up? Uh, are you going to just uh, pick up one of the other uh, regular Odysseys? I think you, I think you can't go wrong with getting the Samsung Odyssey uh, now, especially if you can get it for around the 350 range or $400 range. I believe I paid around 350 for mine. It was on like a hot sale or something uh, earlier in the year, and then um, or maybe it was 400. I think it was 400 actually, 399. That's what I paid what for it. Uh, which is, you know, hundred dollars off. So that's not bad. I would imagine this is going to go on sale for about the same. They've already done it before and it didn't seem to hurt them any. So yeah, look for the sales coming. Anyway, check you later. I'm out.